All right, today is day seven of National Infertility Awareness Week. Thank you so much for checking out these videos. Um, remember, their topic is flip the script. So today I wanna talk about the fruit of infertility. And I know that sounds backward, but again, we're talking about flipping the script. And the truth is that there should be fruit even when we're in a difficult season like infertility. There should be fruit produced because if we're not walking away from God, He's still working in our lives and he's still growing us and he's still showing us and teaching us and guiding us. But if there isn't fruit as you're going through infertility, like for me, for seven years, I ended up giving up, giving up hope, giving up on God, giving up on trying, giving up completely. And there was no fruit. There was just day in and day out life. And it was, it was dead. It, was, it wasn't producing anything. Maybe it was stagnant. Maybe that's the better word. It was stagnant. And I didn't have fruit being produced because I was just angry and bitter and not willing to work on my relationship with God and not willing to trust. But when I finally did surrender and I finally said, you know what, my way isn't working, but God's way is, he started giving me fruit that I wasn't asking for. I was asking for a baby, but he was giving me peace and he was giving me joy and he was working on my marriage and he was working on my relationships and he was taking away anger and he was just blessing me abundantly. And then I look around and I see how blessed I am, even in infertility, even in the season of infertility, God blesses us because he loves us. Because he loves us so much, he knows we're hurting, he knows we're broken, he knows we want a baby. He knows that he can provide it and he has a reason why he's not. But there should be fruit. You should have fruit today. There should be a purpose today. It shouldn't just be, oh, I don't have a baby today. Oh, maybe, maybe it'll happen tomorrow. May, you know, maybe I'll figure it out some other way. Maybe all these other things. No, what is God doing in your life today? And if he's not doing anything, God doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the God of the Bible. So if he's not moving in your life, you have to do what I did and take responsibility and say, you know, what am I doing wrong because I need the fruit of the Lord. I need that relationship with God. If I want God to answer this prayer, I can't force him or get angry at him enough in order for him to do it. I have to honor his word and follow his will and his ways, which he has clearly outlined in the Bible. So there should be that fruit in this infertile season. When we surrender, he steps in and takes control. And that is so good. So I hope this week has been an encouragement to you that maybe the way that you've been doing things hasn't been exactly right. It hasn't been honoring God in all the right ways. And for me, when I realized that, it was like, oh, I could do something. I don't have to sit back and wait and do nothing and go, oh, I hope I get pregnant this month. I could say, you know what, God, what am I doing wrong? Show me what I need to do and I will do it. Does it have to do with forgiving somebody who has nothing to do with infertility? Um, okay, I'll do that because you know what? Your word says that. Does it have to do with trying to be patient instead of frustrated and angry? Okay, that's hard, but you know what? I'm going to do it because that's what your word says. It is laying down our flesh for honoring God and living in the spirit. And it takes work and it's hard, but you know what? I can guarantee it's worth it. I can guarantee if you flip the script on the way that you've been going through infertility, you will find peace, you will find joy, and God will answer prayers according to his word. I hope this, has, this whole series has encouraged you. Please feel free to reach out to me. I am honestly, I'm here for you. I want to pray for you. I want to be able to connect with you. I want to hear your story. So reach out to me. Thanks so much.